There are many premium gaming keyboards out there and all they pretty much have is some variation of mechanical key switches, customizable LED backlighting, a couple of G keys, fully programmable keys, macro keys and a hefty price point. So here's my overview and review of the G-Skill KM780, a $140 gaming keyboard. Like always, I'll start with the aesthetics. The keyboard is very appealing to me. I typically like elegant and clean design, but also robust and bare design. There are metal tubes or rails all around the keyboard, and potentially you can 3D print your own accessories like a phone holder. The rails are a part of the design, and I absolutely love it. This keyboard comes with detachable wrist rails, and the wrist rails itself is okay, though I would like it to be a lot more soft. Regardless, the texture is fine, and it adds to the overall design. Moving over to the design of the keyboard layout, this has a gaming layout, so the curve but they didn't do any weird changes like shortening the shift key or something. On the left side, there are 6 G keys which are fully programmable. You can make them launch applications, write a sentence or a combination including the modifiers. Right above that is the macro recode and mode 1 through 3. Each mode has different configurable lighting effects and the G school software is for at first hard to use but gets a lot easier very quickly. Like I said before, it's fully programmable. That means all the keys are fully programmable. You can use the macro re record to program them or use the software to program them as well. For gaming, it might not be as helpful, but for editing and other daily uses, it saves a lot of time. I have different shortcuts assigned to different G keys. I call this my editing mode, and when I'm not using it, I can ch simply change it by selecting a different mode, and then I won't do any weird glitches or prevent it from typing unwanted stuff. And thanks to the macro record button, I can record shortcuts on the fly. The keyboard has multimedia keys on the right side, and I have never used them, but they are there. Another amazing feature of this keyboard is that it's got a scroll wheel to change the volume. It's all nicely textured and all, but what makes it even better is the volume indicator below that, and I just freaking love it. Overall, the aesthetics of the keyboard is very appealing to me, and I love the 16 million color backlighting among with all the effects. Moving over to the build quality, I expect it to be steel and it does not disappoint. The keyboard is almost made entirely of what I'm guessing is anodized aluminum. The rails are strong and the entire keyboard itself is rigid, and I have a feeling that this is going to last for a long long time. The keycaps are of course replaceable and I hardly doubt they will break, but if they do, you can simply replace the keycaps. Note that this keyboard comes with a few extra keycaps focused on gaming and comes with a tool to change them. They're comfortable, they're uncomfortable to use, so I will leave them out as it is optional and doesn't change anything. Another great feature of this keyboard is a wire holder and basically it holds your wire, which is nice and helpful. The keyboard also has a USB, a mic and a headphone pass through on the back, which is where I have my complaints. The rails kinda make it hard for the thick USB devices to be plugged in, and they should have a indicator on the top to tell you where the ports are so I don't have to stand up and lean over to plug them in. By the way, the USB port is 2.0 and I would recommend using it for small Bluetooth adapters or a wireless mouse. Moving on to miscellaneous stuff, the keyboard wire is thick and very strong, you'll probably use it to go rock climbing on a one and a half tall mountain. There are elevation feeds and the wrist rate is easily detachable. Did I mention this is a mechanical keyboard? It has a Cherry MX RGB brown, which by far is my favorite mechanical switches. There is onboard memory which stores all your macro and under the hood features like 1 millisecond or 1000 hertz latency and everything else that a gamer could want. And here's a quick sound test. So back to the main question, this cost $140, what you're paying for is the superb mechanical keys, the build quality and completely programmable keys. I really don't regret buying this, especially because it was on sale, but using a mechanical keyboard never gets old, every time I type feels great and the gaming is of course amazing. This will last for more than a few years and everything I need in a keyboard it has, so I decided to step in and go for it. If you have the budget, you should too. If you don't, there are other great keyboards, even mechanics that are half the price and still really good. If you're looking for something simple, aesthetically pleasing with less features, check out this review. It's one of my favorite keyboards and it's only $20. Thank you guys for watching my review. If it helped, consider subscribing. We have interesting videos planned and I hope to see you next time.